I think I could experience the magic in their eyes. Weekly Female Humanoid Robot News We are all well aware that the future we envisioned with humanoid robots running around may very well already be here. Let's take a look at the latest news regarding humanoid robots from all around the globe. IGA's brand new low-cost humanoid robot. Man, machine, or both. Humanoid robots are no longer just science fiction. They are reality. IGAS has been researching humanoid robots for some time now and presented a prototype of its motion plastics bot at Hanover Messe 2022. The IGAS motion plastics bot is a humanoid robot that combines the advantages of high-performance plastics and low-cost automation. Robots have become an integral part of our everyday lives. Since the transition to Industry 4.0, more and more tasks are being automated. As a result, the industry is seeing new forms of robotics emerging. But robots can also make things easier in our daily routines. A humanoid that is both functional and friendly and has human features can support humans not as a machine, but as a partner. There has been steady progress in humanoid robotics research and development. For example, a research team at the Chemnitz University of Technology is developing an e-skin, a touch-sensitive electronic skin that could make humanoid robots even more human-like. Driven by the question of the direction into which robotics can develop, IGAS has spent some time working on its own vision of a humanoid robot, the Motion Plastics Bot. With the IGAS Rebel and our DryTech range, working components were already available to enable a robot to move. The humanoid robot is a project we worked on with the robotics experts from True Physics, a Stuttgart-based startup who assembled the intelligent humanoid from our motion plastics and other components. It is available there under the name Robert M3, says Alexander Mullins, head of the Automation Technology and Robotics Business Unit at IGAS. We hope the bot will demonstrate the interplay between integrated intelligence and our products made of high-performance plastics at an affordable price. Ada paints Glastonbury's headliners. An ultra-realistic humanoid robot has created portraits of artists headlining this year's Glastonbury Festival. Ada Robot used cameras and computer memory to draw Billie Eilish, Diana Ross, Kendrick Lamar, and Sir Paul McCartney. After scanning the images, it used a robotic arm to create a layered and scaled multi-dimensional portrait. The robot is also due to give live painting demonstrations alongside its work during the Somerset Festival. It will unveil the works in the Shangri-La field, which will also see performances from K Tempest, Fatboy Slim, and Shy FX. The high-tech robot, which was built in 2019 and previously painted a portrait of the Queen for the Diamond Jubilee, said, I'm looking forward to meeting new people and experiencing the unique atmosphere. Well, it's a kind of fun thing for me to do. I'll be at Shangri-La and I'm doing some portraits. I hope that my art encourages discussion about art, music, and of course, our futures. Creator and project director of Ada Robot, Aidan Meller, said, After making history with her self-portraits, Ada is continually developing her skills. It's an exciting time as her painting ability is progressing, and there's a lot of innovation. Festival goers are able to watch how it works, with two painting sessions taking place on each day throughout the event. German Aerospace Center Showcasing Humanoid Robots Robotics enthusiasts can check out the latest innovations at the popular Automatica event, taking place in Munich. The DLR, German Aerospace Center Institute of Robotics and Mechatronics, has some cool robots and technologies to display. Roland Justin and David aren't new, but, for the first time, DLR wants to enhance their capabilities via a remote control center. These assistance robots with anthropomorphic features are meant to improve the lives of people with physical disabilities. DLR's new Smile Together project is researching the addition of a control center that would coordinate the two robots remotely, to make them even more efficient. David is currently still a torso with a head and arms, but DLR continues to develop it into a full-sized humanoid robot. Roland Justin sports long arms with four-finger hands and is capable of moving over a long range. The size of a human, 6.2 feet, it weighs 200 kilograms, equipped with several sensors and cameras. In addition to helping people with disabilities, it can perform household chores and even assist astronauts. Another new project is called Factory of the Future. Following the growing trend of using highly skilled robots to streamline production processes in various industries, DLR came up with the idea of reconfigurable workstations with a modular design. 
bringing a little grace to robotics. We keep hearing the robots are coming, and this time they may bring a little grace along with their artificial intelligence and advanced movements. Awakening Health, a joint venture between Hanson Robotics and SingularityNet, is developing Grace, a humanoid robot designed specifically to support healthcare, well-being, and long-term companionship in a healthcare facility setting, Janet Adams, Chief Operating Officer of SingularityNet, tells media sources. Already under development for more than a year and a half, Grace is an advanced system capable of free-form artificial intelligence in demo situations and significantly advanced towards an early-stage minimum viable product, she said. The goal of the Grace project is to develop a neural symbolic dialogue system together with vision and navigation subsystems to control a healthcare assistant robot. Grace, both to perform predictable actions in certain user interaction scenarios and to engage in open dialogues, Adam explained. A novel approach and systems have been developed to provide capabilities in the context of elderly healthcare, including doctor appointment, medication management, recovery exercises, and meditation guidance. These tasks also require supporting non-linear dialogues with changing and resuming unfinished topics and tasks, repetitions, etc. AGI will overcome these limitations by bringing intelligence that can transfer knowledge between tasks and situations, cope with a greater range of environments and situations, and operate with smaller, more skewed, and dirtier datasets. She added that Grace will be progressively upgraded to become smarter, more adaptable, and more useful in a wider range of scenarios. Robot Spider-Man Stunt Goes Wrong a stunt performed by a Spider-Man robot went wrong at the Disney California Adventure Park in the United States. A video posted on Instagram shows the Spider-Man robot taking a flight on a rope while swinging and doing flips. However, seconds later, the clip shows the landing did not go as planned. Many people thought it was a person and that a tragic accident had just occurred, while others wrote, dummy having a bad day. Moving towards flying humanoid robots. Researchers at the Italian Institute of Technology IIT, have recently been exploring a fascinating idea, that of creating humanoid robots that can fly. To efficiently control the movements of flying robots, objects, or vehicles, however, researchers require systems that can reliably estimate the intensity of the thrust produced by propellers, which allow them to move through the air. As thrust forces are difficult to measure directly, they are usually estimated based on data collected by onboard sensors. The team at IIT recently introduced a new framework that can estimate thrust intensities of flying multibody systems that are not equipped with thrust measuring sensors. This framework, presented in a paper published in IEEE Robotics and Automation Letters, could ultimately help them to realize their envisioned flying humanoid robot. Our early ideas of making a flying humanoid robot came up around 2016, Danielle Pucci, head of the Artificial and Mechanical Intelligence Lab that carried out the study, told media sources. The main purpose was to conceive robots that could operate in disaster-like scenarios, where there are survivors to rescue inside partially destroyed buildings, and these buildings are difficult to reach because of potential floods and fire around them. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.